Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the ethical issues in transplantation and organ allocation. As long as there is shortage of organs for transplantation, there will be requirement that those organs be offered to patients on the waiting list in an ethical manner. The allocation system should be fair. The Organ Procurement and Transplantation Network for Organ Sharing Ethics Committee adopted and updated in 2015 in a white paper. The ethical principles in the allocation of human organ is signed based on this discussion. These principles provide a framework for regulation for the organ allocation policies. The three ethical principles that govern organ allocation policies are as follows. Utility justice and respect for person. Utility refers to the maximization of net benefit to the community. Justice refers to the fair distribution of benefits and the respect for person refers to telling the truth, keeping commitments and especially respect for autonomy. The Ethics Committee realized that recommendations are for policy in a pluralistic society in which individuals may hold conflicting yet reasonable position on organ allocation. The three ethical principles individually may lead to policies that conflict with each other. Therefore, the principles have to be balanced in order to achieve an equitable outcome. The utility should lead to maximizing the net benefit for the community, thus incorporating the ethics principle of beneficiaries and it should not do any harm. In maximizing the utility factors such as patient survival, graft survival, quality of life, alternative treatment and age can be taken into account. Social aspects such as social worth, social status, occupation, race and so forth should not be considered in formulating the policy. The ethics committee uses justice to refer to fairness in the pattern of distribution of the benefits and burdens of an organ procurement and allocation program. It does not mean treating all patients the same but does require giving equal respect and concern to each patient. Factors to be considered in the application of justice include medical urgency, likelihood of finding a transplant in the future, waiting list time, first versus a repeat transplant, age and geography. Autonomy requires treating people as end in themselves, not only as means. But sometimes respect for autonomy conflict with other ethical principles and sometimes autonomy must be respected and other times it must give away. These ethical principles may lead to conflict when it comes to formulating actual policies. The conditions signed also provide guidelines for resolution among these principles. As a compromise, when ethical principle conflict, an attempt should be made to formulate policies that give each of the conflicting principle equal weight rather than ranking them in some order. Even though the white paper serves as an important set of guidelines, there have been strong disagreement about how to put them into practice. For instance, one reason proponents are in favor is because it would lead to more life the dilemma of selecting ethical allocation scheme as shown in the recent years with the proposed revision kidney allocation using the projected survival after transplantation and in 2011 to use kidney quality and allocation 20% of kidney to patients with the highest estimate post-transplant survival. The current system based primarily on waiting time is patient-centered. The proposed or the future system which recognizes the value society places on the life extending potential of a scarce resource in resource-centered policies. The proponents and the opponents of this proposed allocation scheme use practical and ethical argument to support their positions. For instance, one reason proponents are in favor is because it would lead to more life years in recipient and would direct more kidneys to younger patients who have not had an opportunity to live as long as older individuals on the waiting list. 
while the opponents object because the new allocation scheme would result in age discrimination. Other alteration to allocation of kidney to favor the young by giving them primary access to kidney from younger donors that are regarded to be better quality than kidney from the older donors is disadvantaged to older patient on the waiting list. The allocation schemes that favors the multi-organ transplant over single organ transplant disadvantage patient who would otherwise have received the second organ, directing kidneys preferentially to highly sensitized patient with high panel reactive antibody may be good for this set of difficult to transplant patient for direct kidney arise from patient with lower antibody levels. Directing organ to maximize patient survival may lead to one set of allocation scheme whereas allocating organ to the sickest could favor a different allocation scheme. All these allocation scheme by favoring one subset of patient may be good for society overall but they necessarily discriminate against other group of patient on the waiting list. As long as the shortage of organ continues, good, well-meaning people will disagree on precisely what form the best and most ethical policy is. This disagreement may stem from their unique situation in life and work, their background, culture, perhaps even their genetics. Nevertheless, the allocation system always a work in progress as the United Nations organization constantly strive for more fairness for patient, better outcome and minimizing wasteful discarding of transplantable organs. So my dear students, in this lecture we had discussed the ethical issues concerning the organ transplantation. So dear students, Hope you had understood this. Kindly go through the assignment question. The question is, write about the ethical issues in organ transplantation. So my dear student, in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss the bioethical issues concerning organ transplantation. So see you soon. Until then, goodbye. Thank you and all the best.